Hey guys, what's up? You are watching the very first episode of Wine Up with me, Alison Mache. And if you're wondering what the heck is Wine Up, stay tuned. The title really is from my love of drinking wine. And um, I know most people talk about like wine down because you know you're relaxing and people normally pour a glass for that. But I'm Jamaican, I like to wine up myself. I'm a dancer, dance is a part of me. So I was just like, that makes more sense. That's more me, I don't wine down, I wine up. So wine up is going to be about the different wines that I've been having, different food pairings, and not just, not just wines itself, but also like coffees and just chatting because you know, when you have wine and you like to talk with people, I typically like to do that. No, I'm just widening who I talk to and it's with you guys. Oops. I promise you, I haven't, I just had one sip. I just had one sip of this. And now four more. Cool, 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 cool. This is the wine that we're gonna be talking about today, or I'm gonna be talking about, and y'all let me know how you feel about it. It is a South African wine. The brand is Spear. Spear? Spear? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I don't know you. I really don't know how it's pronounced. It is from the Western Cape region of South Africa. And um, I really enjoyed the taste of this wine, so I wanted to share it with you all. Um, I love, I really do love drinking wine. I, I promise you I'm not a wino. If you check out my Instagram, at Alison Mache, there is a libations highlight where it's really just me drinking a whole bunch of wine with people. South Africa in particular, so why I'm focusing on that today is um, I've been there before, I went two years ago, fell in love with the country, um, the food, the wine. And if you want to see snippets of my trip, again, at my Instagram, at Alison Mache, there is a South African highlight somewhere right there. Yeah, so I was kind of just thinking about going back there, I would love to go, can't travel. And um, one way that I've been traveling is through my taste buds and through buying wine from different countries. So that's it, number one. Number two, I read an article where the South African wine industry is really suffering right now due to the pandemic. I don't want their wines to go out of production and all of that stuff because it really is good. So I wanted to highlight um, a wine from their region. Today we're focusing on the Spear Cabernet Sauvignon 2018. Um, it was relatively affordable. It was on a $12 for me at Total Wine. The thing I love about this wine is one, the earthy elements of the wine. Like all of the wines that I've had that originate from South Africa tend to have like this earthy element to it. It doesn't matter the grape. And I, I really enjoy that. And when I say earthy, I don't mean dirty. It's something like very grounding. You know, you talk about like I'm grounded and you feel stable. That's how I feel on the first sip of one of their wines. And this one to me is very smooth. Again, full bodied, smooth, but also has like this, has a sweet, a bit of sweetness, nothing overbearing. And it goes really, really well with dark chocolate, which is one of my favorites. I love to eat dark chocolate and sip red wine. First sip, I was just like, yo, this wine is it. The other thing how I knew this wine was it, my sister actually drank it. She's one of those people that don't like red wine, don't like dry wines. She sits down and drinks Moscato. Moscato. And she liked it so much that she had more than one glass. So I was just like, you know what? This is a great wine for people who are looking to expand their palate when it comes to wine drinking. So I encourage you guys, pick up Spear <laughs> somewhere online. Um, and depending on where you are if you don't see it if you have again a local wine um, store near you contact the owner and ask them about you know possibly bringing it in stock you never know depending on i guess the popularity of it if you decide you like it and you keep buying it then awesome you supported two businesses in one thank you so much for watching why not with me um, if you have any comments questions, queries, suggestions, or anything, just let me know below. Anything else you want to hear about wine, 
um, I'm so open to it and I pray that you guys are staying safe and sanitizing, wearing your mask, washing your hands, all of that fun stuff. Be responsible and happy sipping.